This is a baffle that I would use for strings, or I would use this baffle for percussion. See, this side is, is absorbent. There's uh, R19 insulation in there covered with burlap on this side. And then the top is plexiglass. Turn it so the wood is facing this way. So now see, that is absorbent wood. It's not planed, it's not painted. It's just rough hewn wood. It's porous, so that has a different frequency absorption coefficient. So the absorption coefficient on this side is different than the absor absorption coefficient on this side. Now the tops, you can see are plexiglass and they're angled. When they're angled towards the absorbent side, any frequency that hit it would bounce down this way. That's why you would put the absorbents on the percussion side so, you know, we could absorb as much of their sound. You're putting your mics on the percussion instruments lower than the top of that. Now let's say over here you got string section. Well, we would want to take those kind of baffles and put them here with the wood side facing the strings. And also the reflection of the window is reflecting it going up, so it re reflect the sound up towards the mics that you would have just under the top of that so that any sound coming from the trumpets up there would pass over the top of it and miss your microphone. So now you can put the string mics three feet above the string players, which are sitting down here. You got the mic up here, and you can get the, the rich sound of the strings because the overtones are up here. The, but up here is also where the trumpet leakage is from over there. So you got to stop that with your baffle. So now see the shorter baffles? Put those around the brass players and the woodwind players or the bass amp or the guitar amp. Those baffles, as a matter of fact, came from the studio. My boss, Angel, donated them to the school. Those baffles uh, were on Cheers. Those baffles were on, on Golden Pond. Those baffles were uh, on Tootsie, Romance in the Stone. Uh, yeah, those baffles.